Fantastic Hill. Welcome back. Here yeah, we're in the uh, Canadian Air Force Museum. And I'm gonna explain to you how the engine of the um of the Harbour North American plane works. This is a light light attack airplane and here I'm gonna focus, uh, focus on how it's going to vary <laughs> um how it's gonna work. Um so as you know the engine pro uh, provides rotational motion and it uh pushes it rotates this propeller over here and um so as this um um propeller spins it sucks in air from the front and pushes it back into this engine each one of these um um lock each one of these sections is one piston and as you see it some there are some lines with holes in between them those are called heat sinks that cool down the engine so as air is pushed through the holes it cools down the engine so it doesn't overheat and reduce the life um you can see on uh, down to these holes on the side and down here those are the intake valves so the air is sucked through um, the intake valves and mixed with air and fuel and uh, mixed with air and fuel and put in these um, engines and they convert it into um, linear motion like straight up and down and there's this crankshaft up here there's a crankshaft that converts that rotation of uh, linear motion into rotational motion and that's connected directly to the propeller if they want to increase the speed and decrease the speed of the aircraft when they are landing or like uh, rising, they just increase the amount of fuel uh, they put in the air and that provi uh, provides more power um, and spins the propeller. Um, so other components of the aircraft, um, I'm not really an expert at this, but um, what's that? Um, this is the wings, the wheels, uh, the engine, that's the uh, pilot's cockpit. Down there we have the tail. And yeah, that's all I know about um, these airplanes. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.